What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. This video is brought to you guys by Weatherflow, and we're taking a look at their Weather Tempest. This is technology in the making for almost 20 years now. Weatherflow's team has been working with atmospheric scientists and forecasters and developers to design something that works well with the smart home, is seamless, and of course, isn't annoying to set up. The coolest thing about this that every reviewer and every single person who ever buys it just says is that this thing can detect everything it possibly needs to detect without having any moving parts if you guys have ever seen any weather components or tools they usually go on a rooftop and they're way high up and they spin and they clunk and this and that and no one has time for any of that we needed something that would be seamless with any house and to look really aesthetically pleasing no matter where you put it that's where they come in with the tempest this thing is insane this guys first of all you get a light sensor at the top and of course everything syncs well with the smart home so basically let me tell you from the very simple standpoint when you have a light sensor at the top you can set it up so this thing pushes a little signal via ifttt or whatnot or whatever smart home application you're working on and then when it detects the maybe it's cloudy it detects maybe it's darker today it can actually set the lights up around your house to either turn on to dim to be a particular calvin rate whatever you need based on that it also has a uv index um a thing to sense up there and of course solar radiation that it can sense uh, right on the top as well which is insane it also has a pressure sensor for sea level pressure and of course the station pressure itself it's also completely wireless so the coolest thing about this is that you simply plug in a mini i guess you could call it a little mini hub and then uh sync it up and afterwards this thing runs on no not batteries no not electricity it runs on solar you basically make it so it faces the uh, faces north and afterwards its solar panels are placed perfectly so that it will always face the sun as it comes up and it's pretty much going to charge at the times that the sun is shooting its rays as best as it can so always stay charged and so you just kind of leave it outside and you're set to go you also get very very seamless mounting most mounts out there are around one inch is uh, you know the usual pole size so this thing you can just stick onto any pole and you're pretty much good in terms of where it needs to go but back to sensors what else does it have you also get a haptic rain sensor so it can actually go ahead and um, decide the rain onset the it can actually figure out the duration the intensity and the acclimation, uh, acclimation right using that sensor how insane is that you also get a sonic wind sensor on there as well so it will constantly detect the wind speed and the wind direction every single three seconds how wild is that but we're not even done it also has a temperature and humidity um a build uh, radiation shield built directly onto it so of course if the temperatures get too crazy or too cold or anything you're pretty much good in terms of that as well my favorite thing about this is that it has a lightning sensor that can actually um detect strikes and whatnot up to 40 kilometers away so basically everything you could possibly need to know about your weather at that particular second in time you're good to go but get this they actually use the internet and the internet of things to really take this to the next level basically all of these stations can interact with each other and create a super super awesome setup where all of the devices are uh, going to be used simultaneously to decide what a particular area's weather is then pull that with a variety of of, you know meteorologists are saying and of course their own systems you get yourself the most accurate possible weather all within the application itself speaking of which the application is designed so well you're able to go and see everything inside of that application for example the humidity and um, how long ago this updated what the exact temperature is how the wind is whether it's cloudy or not all of these sensors coming together to give you a personalized weather application that is specific to your exact location like your exact location location how insane is that my other favorite thing about this is that it just looks super sleek um not a lot of people in you know a lot of like uh, heavy tech people and they'll talk about how cool the tech inside this is and whatnot but i think it just looks so awesome if you place this somewhere outside everyone will look at it and be like huh that's a little unique what exactly is that thing doing it looks like it's a satellite or some kind of like dish antenna or something like that but instead it's just a really really cool way to upgrade your smart home and have everything pulled in perfectly using real-time data versus just trying to predict it based on on your entire city's weather which isn't always accurate now is it their forecast system and uh, initializes with the ecmwf so this is the european global forecast model so you're getting yourself about as accurate data as you can possibly get 
So on all guys, go ahead and check out the link below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If so, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. This thing is insane. And of course, I highly recommend anyone who's thinking about creating a smart home, making a garden, or just really are, you know, care about how the weather is going to be the next day or so or at the moment. Go ahead and check this out. Thank you guys for watching. This is going to be me logging off.